Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Biohazard Suit mod which is being made by users EV Title and my cart. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an amazing new Biohazard Suit which is simply beautiful. As you can see here by its different variations we have available, it is a pretty darn good looking Biohazard Suit that offers quite a bit of protection. So let's take a look at what we do get here in the standard version of the biohazard suit. We have the helmet, which comes in a default white color and will offer you a little bit of damage resistance, but not a huge amount, just offering 10 physical and 20 energy damage resist and has one singular modification slot for changing the color. Now, where most of the protection lies in this mod is with the suit and the standard red version of the suit has quite a bit of uh, different resistances as you can see here which is quite nice but being of course you know a biohazard suit the really really important ones here are the poison and the radiation resist up there at 500 now you can also offset the other damage resistances here by adding a uh, ballistic weave to this which is pretty Pretty darn cool. You can really add a lot of protection to these suits. And of course, the extra point in endurance is always fun to have. Now, as for how you get your hands on one of these lovely biohazard suits, well, it's actually pretty simple as long as you have the prerequisite mod installed. This does require the AWKCR mod to function, and once you have that installed, you can build an Armorsmith workbench where you'll have the outfits hazmat category here to build the suit. Now, as you can see, neither of them have any material requirements, but you will need armor rank two to actually create it. But all in all, it's you know, pretty easy to get your hands on. I wish there was some sort of material requirement here because, well, you guys know me, I feel like it's a bit cheaty if there isn't, but oh well, what are you gonna do? It's still a good suit well worth having. And once you have uh, created it, you can go to any armor workbench in the world to do the modifications. And as for the helmet, as mentioned, we only have the different color modifications here. Seven in total, where we have the ACU camouflage, black, CE camouflage, the default white color for the helmet and default red for the suit, the multicam camouflage, yellow, and big low camouflage, whichever you do prefer. Always good to have those aesthetic changes to make it look how you like. Now, as for the suit, well, we have a few more things to do. Well, specifically, two more things to do. First is the weave, as I did mention, where you can add up to Ballistic Weave Mark V, actually making it a pretty good defensive piece of armor, as well as, of course, still giving you that biohazard protection, which is always cool. And then again, here we have the colors. I'll come back to the visor category here in a moment, where we have the same color options as with the helmet. It's just, as mentioned, the default for this one is red rather than the white helmet. And then we have the hazmat visor category, where by default it is transparent, but you can also make the visor a just opaque black or chrome color. Always good once more to have additional options. And uh, those are all the modifications you do get. So let's take a look at all of them in the world. Now, of course, here I have the two just standard suits on a male and a female mannequin here. So you can see how they do look on the two different body types. And all in all, these are some really awesome hazmat suits. They look just so much better than the standard in game one. It looks like it well, actually would offer you some real protection, and it just looks magnificent. Now then, we do have these seven different texture options, and once more, we have the standard one here, but I changed the visor on this one to be the opaque black visor, which is pretty nice. I really like that one. We then have here the... Oh my god, why am I forgetting which one this is? The ACU camouflage, and this one has the chrome visor up there, which is quite nice, and it's a very good camouflage look. Always gotta do like the ACU camo pattern. 
Next, we do have the black and that one with the transparent visor there. Always nice. We then have the CE camouflage here. Once again, with a black visor there, and the CE camouflage does look pretty good. Now, the next one here is the multi-cam camouflage. Once more, a very good-looking texturing to it. I think that one's my favorite of the camouflage. I mean, AC is cool and all, but... I know, something about that just looks cool to me. We then have the yellow, which definitely screams hazmat in my mind, and is just a good looking with the uh, transparent visor there. And finally, the big low camouflage, which is fabulous and uh, pretty darn good looking. Very cool. Now, no matter which camouflage you do go with, the oxygen tank on the back is actually going to be the same thing here, as you can see, with a just gray and white color theme to each of them, with the exception of the standard. This one has a little bit more color to it, which I do quite like. I actually do wish that the other tanks saw some sort of variation between them, uh, but oh well, we at least do get a little bit of variation with the red there. And all in all, it's just a very cool looking, very highly detailed suit here with just a lot of wonderful little things to it. I love the walkie talkie. We got the gauges there, all the straps, etc. It just looks good and is a nice little addition to the game. So if you'd like to check this mod out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. You do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always... Have a good one!